at the shopping mall. Hi, Lisa. It's so nice to see you. What brings you to the mall today? Hi, Sarah. I needed to buy some new clothes. How about you? I'm here to pick up a birthday gift for my sister. Any stores you recommend? Well, there's a great clothing store on the second floor. Let's check it out together. Sounds good. Let's head there first. Sure, let's go. I'm looking for a new dress for an upcoming event. I think I found a lovely blouse that my sister will like. This blue dress looks amazing. Let me try it on. Excuse me, could you help me check out this blouse, please? Sure, I'll ring it up for you. That'll be $35. Here's $40. Keep the change. Thank you. Your change is $5. It fits perfectly. I'm getting it. I'm taking the dress too. How much is it? The dress is $45. Here's the exact amount. Thank you both. Enjoy your purchases. Thanks. Let's grab a coffee before we explore more. Sure, I could use a coffee break. At the shopping mall too. Hey, Emily. How's it going? I was thinking of getting a new pair of sneakers today. Hi, Alex. I'm doing great. That sounds like a good idea. Let's find a shoe store. Sure, there's one on the third floor. Let's head there. Lead the way. I'm also interested in checking out some accessories. I like these black ones. They seem comfortable. Oh, these earrings are so cute. I'm going to try them on. They fit perfectly. I think I'll take them. I love how they look. I'm definitely getting these. Excuse me, can you help me check out these sneakers, please? Hi, we're ready to make our purchases. Of course, the sneakers are $65 and the earrings are $25, altogether $90. Here's the exact amount. Thank you both. Enjoy your purchases. Thank you. At the movie theater. Hey, Chris. I'm so excited to watch this movie. Have you heard anything about it? Hey, Sarah. Yeah, I heard it's a fantastic action-packed thriller. It has great reviews. That's awesome. I love action movies. By the way, did you get the tickets? Yes, I did. I booked them online, so we just need to pick them up at the counter. Perfect. Thanks for taking care of that. Oh, and do you want any popcorn or soda? Yeah, let's get some popcorn to share, and I'll grab a large soda. Sounds good. I'll get the popcorn, and you can handle the drinks. Sure, no problem. What time does the movie start? It starts at 7.30, and it's almost 7 now. We should head inside soon to get good seats. Agreed. I don't want to end up in the front row. Me neither. Oh, and don't forget to turn off your phone during the movie. Right, thanks for the reminder. I'll put it on silent mode. Great. I hate when someone's phone rings during the movie. Yeah, it's so distracting. Oh, and remember to use the restroom before the movie starts. Good point. I'll do that right now. These seats are perfect. Not too close and not too far. Yeah, I agree. I love the atmosphere in the movie theater. Me too. It's so much better watching a movie on the big screen. Definitely. Let's enjoy the movie. Absolutely. Lights off, and here we go. At the movie theater too. Hi there. Two tickets for the 7.30 p.m. show of Superhero Movie, please. Sure, for the 7.30 p.m. show of Superhero Movie. Got it. Are there any discounts available for students? Yes, we offer student discounts. Do you have your student ID? Yes, here's my student ID. Great. Let me apply the student discount for you. That will be $15 for two tickets. Sounds good. Here's $15. Thank you. Here are your tickets. Enjoy the show. Thanks. 
Can you tell me which theater the movie is playing in? Superhero movie is playing in theater 4. Perfect. And where can I find the restrooms? Restrooms are just down the hallway on your right. Enjoy the movie. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You're welcome. Enjoy the movie and have a great day too. At the park. Hey, it's such a beautiful day today. How about we head to the park? That sounds like a great idea. I've been wanting to get some fresh air and enjoy the outdoors. Perfect. Let's grab a blanket and some snacks, and we can find a nice spot under the trees. Sounds good. I'll bring some sandwiches and fruits. Oh, and don't forget a frisbee or a ball. We could play some games too. Absolutely. It's been ages since we had a good game at the park. I'm looking forward to it. By the way, have you been to this park before? Hmm, I think I visited once a long time ago, but I'm not very familiar with it. How about you? No, this will be my first time here. I heard it has a lovely lake and some walking trails. That sounds like a perfect opportunity for a leisurely walk. We could also feed the ducks if there are any. Yes, I love watching the ducks. It's always so calming. And speaking of calm, the park seems like a great place to relax and unwind. Absolutely. It's nice to escape from the hustle and bustle of the city and enjoy the tranquility of nature. Oh, there it is. The park looks even better than I imagined. Wow, you're right. The grass is so green, and the flowers are in full bloom. All right, let's set up our little picnic spot here. We can watch people pass by and enjoy the scenery. Perfect choice. This spot is ideal. Thanks for suggesting the park today. You're welcome. It's always nice to spend time with friends in such a beautiful setting. I couldn't agree more. Now, let's dig into these sandwiches and enjoy the day. Yum. This sandwich is delicious. And look, there's a group playing frisbee over there. Shall we join them later? Definitely. But first, let's take a moment to soak in the serenity of the park. The conversation continues as they enjoy their time at the park, chatting, playing games, and creating wonderful memories together. At the park too. The weather is perfect for a day at the park. It's so refreshing to be outside. Absolutely. It's nice to escape the air-conditioned indoors for a change. Look at those kids playing on the swings and slides. It brings back memories of our childhood, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Those were simpler times, just carefree fun at the park. Oh, look at that adorable dog chasing the ball. Pets really seem to enjoy the park as much as we do. They sure do. The park is the perfect place for them to run around and socialize with other pets. Shall we take a break here for a moment? It's nice to catch our breath. Agreed. Plus, it gives us a chance to people watch. Parks are such interesting places to observe different activities. Look over there. Some people are doing yoga. That seems like a relaxing way to connect with nature. Indeed, yoga in the park sounds like a fantastic idea. We should try it sometime. Speaking of trying things, I brought my camera today. I'd love to capture some of the park's beauty. That's a brilliant idea. The flowers, trees, and the lake all make for great photography subjects. You're right. And don't forget the laughter and smiles of people enjoying themselves. The park really brings people together, doesn't it? It's like a little community within the city. Absolutely. And it's heartwarming to see strangers sharing a smile or a friendly conversation. Speaking of conversations, how about we grab a snack from that food truck? I heard they have some delicious treats. Sounds like a plan. A little snack to refuel before we continue exploring sounds perfect. And after that, shall we try our hand at some mini golf? I noticed there's a mini golf course just ahead. Yes, let's do it. It's been ages since I played mini golf. It's sure to be a lot of fun. 
The conversation continues as they enjoy the park's various activities, savoring the moment and making the most of their time together. Let's move to the next conversation. At the college. Hey, how was your morning class? Oh, it was interesting. The professor discussed some thought-provoking ideas in today's lecture. That sounds intriguing. What was the topic? We talked about the impact of social media on society and its influence on our daily lives. That's a relevant and engaging topic. I bet it sparked some lively discussions in the class. Absolutely. Everyone had different perspectives, and we had a healthy debate. What do you have next? I have a break before my psychology class. How about you? I've got a math lab. It's always challenging, but I'm determined to improve my skills. You've got this. Math can be tough, but with practice, you'll master it in no time. Thanks for the encouragement. And good luck with your psychology class. Thanks. I'm quite interested in the human mind and behavior, so I'm looking forward to it. By the way, have you heard about the upcoming campus event? The Student Association is organizing a talent show. Yes, I saw the posters around. I'm thinking of participating with my guitar. Are you planning to join too? I'm not sure. I do love singing, but performing in front of an audience makes me a bit nervous. Don't worry. It's a supportive environment, and everyone will be cheering for you. You should totally give it a shot. You're right. I shouldn't let fear hold me back. I'll consider signing up. That's the spirit. You'll do great, I'm sure. Hey, speaking of campus events, there's a club fair coming up next week. We should explore some new clubs together. I'm up for that. It's a perfect opportunity to discover new interests and make new friends. Looks like our break is almost over. Let's head to our respective classes. Agreed. See you after the classes then. At the college too. Hey, do you want to study together for the upcoming history exam? Sounds like a plan. The exam is going to be tough, and studying together might make it easier. Agreed. We can go through the notes and discuss any challenging topics. Before we start, did you hear about the cultural festival next month? The college is buzzing with excitement. Oh yes, I've been looking forward to it. It's always a vibrant event with lots of food, performances, and activities. Exactly. I heard there will be a dance competition too. Are you thinking of participating? I love dancing, but I've never performed in front of such a large audience. I'm a bit nervous. You should give it a try. It's all about enjoying the moment, and your passion for dance will shine through. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll seriously consider it. All right, let's focus on the history exam for now. I find the ancient civilizations chapter quite challenging. Same here. The Egyptian and Mesopotamian civilizations are fascinating but complex. I think we should make a timeline to better understand the sequence of events. That's a great idea. It will help us visualize the historical context. I'm glad we're studying together. It's much more motivating than studying alone. I agree. Plus, we can help each other out when we get stuck on something. Speaking of which, do you want to grab some lunch at the campus cafe? That sounds like a good idea. A little break will help us recharge before we continue studying. Let's go then. I heard they have some new menu items, and I'm curious to try them out. I'm always up for trying new food. Lead the way. The conversation continues as they enjoy lunch together, discussing their studies, and planning for the upcoming cultural festival. Studying with a friend makes the college experience more enjoyable and enriching. Let's move to the next conversation. At the bus stop. The bus should be here any minute now. I hope it's not too crowded. Yeah, it's always hard to predict the bus's schedule, but let's hope we won't have to wait too long. True. While we wait, how was your day so far? It was alright, nothing too eventful. How about you? 
Same here, just a usual day of classes and assignments. Have you been to that bookstore? I heard they have a great selection of books. No, I haven't been there yet, but I'm a bookworm, so I'll definitely check it out sometime. You should. It's a lovely place to explore, especially if you're into reading. Oh, there's our bus. I hope there are some empty seats. Fingers crossed. Let's try to grab seats together if possible. Agreed. It's more fun when we can sit and chat during the ride. Look, two seats side by side. Perfect. Lucky us. Now we can continue our conversation on the way. So, what's your favorite genre of books to read? I enjoy fiction, especially fantasy and science fiction. How about you? I like mysteries and thrillers. They always keep me on the edge of my seat. That's great. Different genres open up new worlds of imagination. Speaking of different worlds, have you ever traveled to other countries? Yes, I've been lucky enough to visit a few. The experiences were amazing, and I hope to travel more in the future. That sounds wonderful. I haven't traveled much yet, but I dream of exploring different cultures and places. I'm sure you will get the opportunity one day, and it'll be an unforgettable experience. Thanks for the encouragement. I can't wait to see what the future holds. The conversation continues as they enjoy their bus ride, sharing their interests and dreams. Connecting with others, even briefly at a bus stop, can lead to meaningful and enjoyable conversations. Let's move to the next conversation. At the bus stop too. The next bus should be here in about 10 minutes. Great. I hope it's not too crowded. I hate standing for a long bus ride. Yeah, especially during rush hour. It can get really packed. By the way, have you noticed how many people are glued to their phones these days? Oh, definitely. It seems like everyone is constantly on their phones, myself included sometimes. True, it's become such a big part of our lives. But it's also good to take a break from screens once in a while. Absolutely. Sometimes, it's nice to look up and observe the world around us, like the beautiful park across the street. You're right. It looks so peaceful there. We should go for a walk in the park sometime. I'm up for that. It'll be a refreshing change from our busy college schedules. Speaking of which, do you want to grab a coffee while we wait for the bus? Sounds like a great idea. A warm cup of coffee would be perfect on this chilly day. Then, let's go. Ah, this is just what I needed. Thanks for suggesting it. No problem. It's nice to take a moment to relax and chat before the bus arrives. So, how's your semester going? Any interesting classes or projects? Yes, I'm taking a psychology class that's really fascinating. We're learning about human behavior and emotions. That sounds intriguing. I've always been curious about psychology. Maybe I'll take a class next semester. You should. It's a subject that can be applied to many aspects of life. Oh, the bus should be here soon. We better finish our coffees. Agreed. Let's head back to the bus stop. The conversation continues as they discuss their college experiences, hobbies, and plans for the future, making their time at the bus stop enjoyable and engaging. Let's move to the next conversation. At the cafe. So many delicious options. I can't decide what to order. I know, right? Cafes always have the best selections. Take your time, I'm in no rush. I think I'll go with a cappuccino and a slice of chocolate cake. What about you? I'll have a latte and a blueberry muffin, please. Good choice. I'll get your drinks and pastries right away. How has your week been so far? It's been quite busy with assignments and projects, but I'm managing. How about you? Same here. College life can be hectic, but it's also exciting. Definitely. I'm looking forward to the weekend, though. Planning to relax and maybe catch a movie. That sounds like a perfect way to unwind. Which movie do you have in mind? 
I haven't decided yet. Maybe an action movie or a comedy to lighten the mood. Count me in. It's been a while since we had a movie night. Agreed. We should invite a few more friends and make it a fun gathering. Good idea. I'll send out some messages later to see who's available. Excuse me. Your order is ready. Here are your cappuccino, latte, chocolate cake, and blueberry muffin. Enjoy. Thank you. Looks delicious. I've missed these blueberry muffins. And this chocolate cake is divine. We picked the right treats. Absolutely. Cafes have the best desserts. Oh, before I forget, have you heard about the campus event next week? There's going to be a talent show. Really? I had no idea. Are you thinking of participating? I'm considering it. Maybe I'll perform a song or something. That's awesome. You have a great voice, you should definitely give it a shot. Thanks for the support. Maybe you should participate too, with your guitar skills. We'll see. It could be fun to showcase some tunes. The conversation continues as they enjoy their drinks and pastries, making plans for the weekend and discussing the upcoming talent show. Cafes provide a cozy and relaxed atmosphere for meaningful conversations and delightful moments with friends. Let's move to the next conversation. At the cafe too. I love coming to this cafe. The view of the park across the street is so serene. It's one of my favorite spots too. And the coffee here is fantastic. Agreed. I always get their cappuccino, and it's consistently delicious. So, what have you been up to lately? Any exciting news? Actually, yes. I got accepted into the study abroad program I applied for. Wow, that's amazing. Congratulations. Which country will you be going to? Thank you. I'll be heading to Spain. I'm so thrilled to experience a new culture and improve my language skills. That sounds like an incredible opportunity. You'll have an unforgettable time. I hope so. It's a bit nerve-wracking too, but I know it'll be worth it. Don't worry, you'll do great. Plus, you'll come back with so many wonderful memories. Speaking of traveling, have you been to any exciting places lately? Not recently, but I did go on a hiking trip to the mountains last month. The scenery was breathtaking. That sounds like a fantastic adventure. I love being in nature, it's so refreshing. It was. I should plan another trip soon. Maybe a beach destination this time. Count me in. Beach vacations are the best, and we'll have plenty of time to plan it. Are you ready to order? Yes, I'll have the cappuccino, please. I'll go with a latte, thanks. Right away. What are you currently reading? It's a mystery novel. I'm a big fan of thrillers. Oh, I enjoy mysteries too. Who's the author? It's by a new author I discovered recently. The plot is gripping so far. I'll have to borrow it from you after you're done. I'm always looking for new books to read. Absolutely. I love discussing books so we can share our thoughts afterward. The conversation continues as they discuss their travel plans, favorite books, and upcoming adventures. Cafes provide a comfortable setting for friends to catch up, share stories, and bond over shared interests. Let's move to the next conversation. At the gym. Hey, how's your workout going? Not bad. I just finished some weightlifting and now doing stretches before hitting the cardio machines. That's great. Mixing strength training with cardio is an excellent workout routine. Thanks. How about you? What's your workout plan for today? I'm planning to do some interval training on the treadmill and then move on to the weight machines. Interval training is an intense but effective way to burn calories. I might try that next time. It's worth a shot. It keeps things interesting and helps to improve endurance. I see you're using the fitness app to track your workouts. How do you like it? It's pretty convenient. I can keep track of my progress, set fitness goals, and it even offers workout routines. I should download it too. 
It would be nice to have everything organized in one place. Absolutely. It helps to stay motivated when you see your progress over time. I could use some motivation. Lately, I've been struggling to keep a consistent workout schedule. It happens to everyone. Sometimes life gets busy, but taking small steps to stay active is still beneficial. You're right. I'll start by adding more walks in my daily routine. That's a great idea. Walking is an underrated exercise and good for both physical and mental health. I'll make sure to do that. Thanks for the tip. Shall we grab some water before continuing our workouts? Definitely. Hydration is essential during exercise. The conversation continues as they discuss their fitness goals, exercise routines, and ways to stay motivated while working out. Encouraging each other at the gym can lead to a more enjoyable and productive workout session. Let's head to the next conversation. At the gym too. Phew, that was intense. How's your workout going? It's challenging, but rewarding. I'm focusing on upper body exercises today. That's great. Upper body workouts are essential for overall strength and posture. Thanks. I'm trying to improve my upper body strength, especially for my back and shoulders. I can relate. I've been working on my core strength and stability lately. Any specific exercises you find effective for that? Planks and Russian twists are great for core engagement. Want me to show you? Sure, I'd love to learn some new exercises. You're doing great. Remember to engage your core and breathe steadily. It's tougher than it looks, but I can feel it working. That's the beauty of core exercises, they target deep muscles that are often overlooked. Thanks for the tips. I'll definitely add these to my routine. No problem. Always happy to help. How's your nutrition been during your fitness journey? I try to eat balanced meals, but I occasionally struggle with unhealthy cravings. It happens to all of us. Maybe try to find healthier alternatives for those cravings. That's a good idea. I'll look for nutritious snacks to satisfy my sweet tooth. Speaking of snacks, I usually have a protein shake after my workout. Want to join me? Sure. I've never tried a protein shake before. Here's to our fitness journey, may we stay motivated and achieve our goals. Cheers to that. Thanks for being a great gym buddy. The conversation continues as they enjoy their protein shakes and discuss their fitness progress, nutrition goals, and ways to stay motivated during their workouts. Having a workout buddy can make exercising more enjoyable and provide valuable support along the way. Let's head to the next conversation. At the supermarket. Okay, we need to get some groceries. Where should we start? Let's head to the produce section first. We can get fresh fruits and vegetables. Good idea. I've been craving some juicy strawberries. Strawberries it is. And how about some greens like spinach and broccoli? Sounds perfect. Let's make sure we have a healthy balance of veggies. Oh, look. There's a sale on cereal and oatmeal. We could stock up on those too. Great find. It's always good to have some quick and nutritious breakfast options. I'll take this one. It's my favorite with nuts and dried fruits. And I'll go with this one. It has whole grains and is low in sugar. We're almost out of milk. Let's get a fresh carton. I see they have almond milk too. I'll grab that for a change. Yogurt is a must-have for me. I love it as a snack or in smoothies. Oh, and don't forget to grab some cheese. I prefer cheddar for sandwiches. Got it. Oh, and we can't forget eggs. They're so versatile for cooking. Right, eggs are a staple in many recipes. Shall we pick up some bread? Definitely. Whole grain bread is the way to go. Let's see, we have fruits, veggies, cereal, milk, cheese, eggs, and bread. Is there anything else we need? I think we're good for now. Let's head to the checkout. Sounds like a plan. It's always satisfying to see a cart full of healthy choices. Absolutely. 
Planning and making nutritious choices make grocery shopping enjoyable and good for our health. The conversation continues as they pay for their groceries, chat about their favorite recipes, and look forward to cooking and enjoying their fresh purchases at home. Shopping at the supermarket can be a fun and productive way to stock up on essentials and nourish the body with healthy food options. Let's head to the next conversation. At the supermarket too. All right, we need to find some ingredients for tonight's dinner. What's on the menu? I'm thinking of making a pasta dish with some fresh vegetables and a creamy sauce. Sounds delicious. Let's start by getting some pasta first. Here we are. There are so many types of pasta to choose from. How about this penne pasta? It's perfect for creamy sauces. Good choice. Penne it is. Now, let's find the vegetables. How about some bell peppers, mushrooms, and zucchini? Great idea. These will add lots of flavor and color to the dish. Now, for the creamy sauce. Do you want to make it from scratch or get a ready-made one? I usually prefer homemade, but to save time, we can try a pre-made sauce this time. Here's a jar of Alfredo sauce. It should go well with the veggies. Perfect. That should make the cooking process easier. Do we need anything else? We have the main ingredients, but we should also pick up some garlic bread as a side. Garlic bread always complements pasta dishes nicely. It's usually here. Ah, there it is. Great find. Now, we're all set for dinner. Time's flying. We should head to the checkout. Agreed. And I can't wait to enjoy the meal we're making. Me too. Cooking together is always fun, and the end result is delicious. Let's make it a feast to remember. The conversation continues as they pay for their groceries, share cooking tips and ideas, and look forward to preparing and savoring the dinner they planned at home. Grocery shopping for a specific meal can turn the task into an exciting culinary adventure. Let's head to the next conversation. At a family function. It's so good to see everyone gathered here for the family reunion. Absolutely. These occasions are always filled with warmth and laughter. Oh, there's Sarah. It's been ages since we last met. I should catch up with her. Go ahead, I'll join you in a bit. I see Uncle Tom over there, and I want to say hello. Hey, Sarah. How have you been? It's been too long. Hi. I know, it's been years. I'm doing well, how about you? I'm good too. Life has been busy with work and all, but I'm thrilled to be here with the family. Same here. It's nice to catch up with everyone and see how they've been doing. I see Aunt Linda is doing a great job organizing everything. The decorations and food are fantastic. Yes, she always knows how to make these family gatherings special. Remember the family functions we had when we were kids? So much running around and playing. Oh, absolutely. Those were some unforgettable times. We had so much fun together. Speaking of fun, I see some board games on that table. Shall we challenge the rest to a game later? Count me in. We used to have epic game nights back in the day. It's settled then. We'll gather everyone for a game session after dinner. Sounds like a plan. The conversation continues as they engage in fun activities, reminisce about old memories, and strengthen family bonds during the family function. Family gatherings are an excellent opportunity to reconnect with loved ones and create new memories together. Let's head to the next conversation. At a family function too. It's great to see everyone coming together for this family barbecue. Absolutely. It's a perfect day to enjoy some good food and spend time with family. I can't believe how much the kids have grown since the last time we all got together. Time flies, doesn't it? It's heartwarming to see the younger ones growing up and making memories together. It really is. Oh, by the way, did you hear that Uncle Mike and Aunt Susan are expecting another baby? That's wonderful news. I'll make sure to congratulate them later. They're over there near the grill. 
Let's go say hello. Hi, Uncle Mike, Aunt Susan. Congratulations on the upcoming addition to the family. Thank you so much. We're thrilled to welcome another little one into our lives. Yes, we couldn't be happier. This little one is already so loved. You must be so proud to have such a wonderful family. Absolutely. Family gatherings like this remind us of how blessed we are. And speaking of family, look at the kids having a great time together. They sure know how to enjoy themselves. It's great to see the different generations bonding and having fun. It's a special time for everyone, and we should cherish these moments. The conversation continues as they enjoy the food, engage in more conversations with family members, and create lasting memories at the family function. Family gatherings are the perfect opportunity to reconnect, celebrate, and strengthen the bond with loved ones. Please like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications of new videos and also comment us about the topics on which do you want spoken English conversation. We'll definitely try to cover those topics in our next videos.